Well, hello. I figure I've got a little, maybe an hour to play some Kerbal Space Program and I still have lots of scientists, sci well, science and achievements to get. So that's what we're gonna be up to for at least the next hour or so. I also have a um, an event at Chabot Space Science Center for people that were, that helped restore the uh, Universarium. So the Universarium is a Zeiss projector, which was the original projector that Chabot had before they had their current digital system, and they were looking to raise money to get it fixed. And, uh, you know, I, I guess I advertised it a bit. I'm just gonna move this over here because I like having all my cushions over here. Uh, yeah, so that'll be on later, and I've got a B to that. So, uh, yes. So, I did actually play this for a few minutes while uh, you guys weren't around. And I picked up some contracts. Uh, plant flag on Minmus, fly by Duna, plant flag on the moon, rescue rescue Triena Kerman from orbit of Kerbin, and ferry a VIP safely to destination. Hey, the Nordic Lynx, a.k.a. PCFX pilot pair. Hello. The share E button is the share button on the PlayStation controller because it's all built into it. By the way, I have gone and invested in uh, one of those video capture things because, uh, I don't know, I figured I might as well. I, um, I figured I, I would get the stuff to do it and maybe I could actually make some lessons and all that. Scott Camp, well, that's pretty lame, to be honest. Don't forget to... <laughs> ah, yes. Yes, nice one, YOLO swaggins. Uh, okay. So, what have we got? We got all our stuff? Yes, I was going to build a spacecraft and do that. KSP on PlayStation 4. Tiny webcam is still a webcam. It's actually bigger than my other webcam. The difference is that I'm way the heck across the room. Way the heck across the room. Hi from... Hello! We're in Delaware. You're back from Delaware, huh? Uh, hey, JJ Sgo, how are you doing? So I actually spent a few minutes and built a spacecraft which I can use for this mission, which would be appropriate, and it must be somewhere here. Vanilla Thunder, no, it's not that one. Uh, Fruitvale Bomber, CVSFTW, Tour Bus, the Tour Bus. That'll be it. Let's load. Oh, maybe it's down here. Tour bus. Load this one. Do, 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 do. So yes, beer of the day, by the way, is Big Wave Golden Ale by um, the Kona Brewing Co Company, which is on Big Island, Hawaii. So here we go. This is what we've got. Uh, hey, Fox on the War Fur. Hi. So yeah, we're, we're playing Kerbal Space Program on the PlayStation 4 because I want to get all the achievements and everything, and why not? The contracts I have require me to put a tourist in orbit and bring them safely back to the planet, but I also need to rescue someone, so I'm going to put the tourist on this spacecraft without anything else. Is it a super weird time in the US right now? Uh, no weirder than it was in Britain. Right. Let's let's be clear that Britain and the U.S. are both have many things in common right now. <laughs> so this is an upper stage that is designed to return safely to Kerbin on a pair of parachutes. It has a probe here, which will give me control because there's going to be no pilot in here. The passenger, the tourist, is going to sit in there, and when we you know get up in orbit, we are going to get. Uh, yeah, we're going to get that. We're going to get them all, whatever. We're going to collect some science too. And yeah, hopefully we will return everyone safely. I got the shout out. Okay, so let's actually launch this sucker. Yeah, let's launch this sucker. Here we go. Scott, why are you talking about... I am... What are you talking about? I am new to the stream. We're, we're playing Kerbal Space Program on the consoles because n the console version just came out and it seems that a lot of people have trouble. Oh, wow, that looks like it might fall over. Not sure I like that. And you know what? I have realized... Let's go to the map. I might have to wait until daylight. Also... Actually, I might be able to do this. 
I'm kind of worried that I may not get to space with the power I have. How much power? I have basically a minuscule amount of electric charge which is slowly shedding itself. Still, if I can get up into orbit, I should be able to chase after this person. You know what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm just going to run time forwards until the day, day rises and those guys are, that person is nearby because I've got a rendezvous with them. Okay, this could be a problem. Ding, 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 ding. It's 5 a.m. somewhere, time for a drinky. That indeed is what it is. Okay, so we've got to wait for the sun to rise. And in fact, sun is going to rise pretty close. There we go. Okay, let's do this. So, I'm going to target this here. This is Triana, set as target. Set as target. And come out of here. And so they are going eastwards, and I think I'm in the correct orbit. So throttle to 100% thrust. And let's hope this works. Oh, actually, I'm wondering if I'm going to have any power here. Oh, I still have power. That's good. Three, two, one, go! Excellent. Now make sure this thing starts turning over. Because it's very important that we get some lateral speed built up using this super high thrust. Once again, we're using this single booster. I don't know why. Because we can. And I need to make sure we get over onto the correct attitude. I'm going to throttle down through max Q just a bit here. And we are doing good. Want to get to five kilometers, we will go for throttle up. We are go for throttle up. We're not going to explode. Just have to be extra Q. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, once again, I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, so this thing has stability. You know what I don't know how to do is pump fuel around. How do I pump fuel from one thing to another? Uh, how about I do this? Modifier? Nope. Yeah, okay. So let's let's revert that to launch again. Revert to launch. I should have quick saved prior to launch, shouldn't I? I kind of knew that that was not entirely stable. So one of the things I've got at the top of this is a pair of little wings because we're going to need that to keep it stable during re-entry. Oh dear, 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 dear. That thing looks kind of scary. Let's go to the map. Just hold the shift button. Yeah, hold the shift button. What? I will hold the shift button if you'll tell me what the shift button is. I don't know about pumping fuel. I think it may not work 100% in this, but uh, we'll find out. Waiting for them to come close by, and bingo. Bingo, 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 bingo. There we go. Surface, and come out of here. Not this one. No, no, not that. Throttle to 100%. Stability control on fire engines, and start moving over. And I guess I'm going to be more aggressive in my turn this time early on, because Clearly, we have to get through the atmosphere before this thing becomes unstable. So if I'm turning too much, then I'm going to have some concerns about that. Here we go. 400 meters per second. As long as we're moving fast enough that we break through the atmosphere, we should be fine. And I can feel that it's wanting to pull away. And the whole thing is flexing around. But I... Okay. Throttle. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's so cool. But at least this thing survived. And you know what's nice? Is that my theory is correct. This is aerodynamically, un uh, aerodynamically stable in the correct direction. This is what happens when you build things and don't test them. Like, <laughs> all my plans are going up in simulations. Okay, so... I think what I'm going to do is keep the throttle a little lower, right? We're going to keep it <laughs> And the quarterback is toast. That's pretty cool, actually. I, I like the way that that disintegrated like that. And th that's still flying off into space. I'm wondering how far it went. Let's just zoom in. Look, it's... it's uh, Where is it? Turn this on. Yep, it's off doing its thing. 
I don't know what orb. Yeah, it's in a slightly more ballistic orbit. Okay, but it doesn't matter because we're going to revert flight to launch one more time. Hello from Jupiter. Jupiter? Isn't there a town called Jupiter somewhere? The flying noodle is standard practice in Kerbal Space Program, unfortunately. Okay, do this once again. Back with the incredible Rhyme Animal, public enemy number one. This is about the first time watching me stream. Wow, are you in for some disappointments? No, just kidding. Just remember, the people that make the coolest comments do get to name these spaceships if we come up with some other ones. Hello from an indeterminate part location because you're a quantum particle. That's not true. You're, uh, it's your momentum, which is in, uh, I guess momentum and location are independent. Uh, never mind. Okay. Zoom back in. Target set as target. So I'm actually aiming to launch a little early. Throttle to 100% for now, and then we'll throttle back once we get up to speed. And zoom out, zoom out a little. Go! There we go. So now once we get up to... What, what, the real problem with this, right, is that the fuel is burning downwards again. We have this exact same problem that we have with previous rockets. That the fuel burns downwards, and therefore the center of mass is moving backwards and so it ends up behind the center of pressure. Now a real rocket that doesn't happen because you have oxidizer in the tanks at the front and fuel in the tanks at the back and the fuel burn is actually pretty even. But in Kerbal Space Program all the fuel burns downwards and you end up with this problem that causes rockets to flip out of control. And I have fixed it in the past by manually pumping the fuel backwards using the, you know, right click and shift. I can't, honestly, I can't actually remember what keys I push on the PC to make this happen. You know what, I'm throttling down to zero temporarily. Actually, I'm going to throttle up just a bit because I need some stability here. Okay, there, we're going to keep that going. Whew! Okay, now, now we're going to go to the map and we're doing well here. So I'm just going to keep this kind of accelerating upwards until we reach our altitude. I'm going at one third thrust. And that's actually pretty good here. Just keeping that on there. Oh, there, look, and of course, orbit. Oh, look at how close we're going to be. We're, we're going to be pretty close, actually. So you know what? If I throttle down to zero, and then just, just a tiny bit of throttle right now, because what I want to do, I want to actually go lower. What's my altitude right now? I think my altitude is low enough that I can start burning laterally. That's my plan. Oh, there, look at that. You see how I'm bringing this? We're going to pass by these guys really soon. Look at that. Wow. Excellent. Excellent. Now, what I'm going to do... This is going to be fun. I'm going to try and kill my relative velocity when I'm right close to it. This is a terrible, 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 ill-advised uh, maneuver. But I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, <laughs> okay, I need some thrust right now. I need more thrust because thrust gives me thrust vectoring. There, I'm reducing my relative velocity. Reducing the relative velocity. 600 meters per second. And you know what I need to do now is actually do some offset so that my approach distance gets smaller. There. Moving towards the target at about 300 meters per second. 200, 250. This. Okay. Oh, 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 come on! Damn it! Damn it! <sighs> Okay, uh, what happened is I was trying to stop the relative velocity, but because of the way this thing worked, uh, so to, to switch map mode, you use these shoulder buttons to trigger the modifier, right? But similarly, so we were basically in almost the same orbit as this thing after a few seconds. Yeah, and so basically what happened was it overshot because I couldn't cut off my thrust at the same time. But that's fine, we'll just go back in towards this. 
Did I say anything about the Philae Lander saying goodbye? If you missed it, uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Well, it had said goodbye a long time ago. So uh, I was prepared for this day. And, you know, we will... We will rock you. We will rock you. We will, we will rock you. Why do I have the name Sizzizig? Because in the old days, I was required to pick a username that nobody else would have. And so I thought nobody else could possibly have that username. And that's what I used. Okay, there we go. Now let's actually bring up my electric charge is doing fine. We'll just keep that pinned. So now I'm going to turn this thing around and point in the opposite direction. We're going in at about 70 meters per second. You are going to ask, OMG! So yeah, I misspelled syzygy, which is a technical term for a conjunction between two celestial bodies. We're actually going to a Hitchhiker's Guide to the par uh, you know, Galaxy party tonight. Somebody... I know is turning 42 years old. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be bringing my towel and m making pan-galactic gargle blasters, which uh, as uh, you know, is best described as a slice of red lemon or getting hit in the head by a gold brick wrapped in a slice of lemon. Okay, so we're about 100 seconds out from this target and we're going to need some we're going to make some more modifications once we get closer. Good news is, so we got electric charge coming in. <laughs> no, it's, it's not random. It was well thought out and uh, unfortunately poorly thought out at the same time. I don't mind admitting to my stupid mistakes. I was young, right? Silly things happen. It's just the nature of things. Okay, I'm going to slow down a bit more. Okay, so we're four kilometers out. I think this is a pretty... Fa Look, we're five minutes into this uh, space, and if I hadn't messed that up, I would have rendezvoused much faster. But whatever. Well thought out, poorly executed. That is exactly what I'm trying to say there. Now we're getting back into orbit here, and I'm trying to push my relative velocity vector. So I'm approaching way more aggressively, of course, than you ever would in reality. What is my job? Or are you lucky enough to be a full-time Kerbonaut? No, I am a software developer for a major uh, software and hardware company. Uh, and if, you know, there's lots and lots of good reasons for it. I was an open source developer. I wrote digital music software for a while. I was in computer security for some time, but now I work, uh, you know, for the big boys. Mm -hmm. I think my favorite book in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series has to be the first one. It's, you know, it's got all the best jokes. Uh, a lot of the later ones have some really nicely thought out, but they're kind of contrived, the, the jokes in the later books. I mean, that's not to say that they're not fun and interesting they're just not as good as the original so here's the thing if you use the term hacker hacker is someone that doesn't necessarily document everything they're going to do beforehand they're like i think i want to write code to do this but i have no idea how to do it let's just hack some stuff together right it's really funny when i posted that star citizen video where i replaced some files and said Oh my god, look at this awful hack that I've made. You can fly this spaceship around the Art Corp level. Which was pretty hilarious because your spacecraft would spawn inside an elevator. And you just had to keep on doing it until the you respawned in a way that didn't cause your spacecraft to explode. Oh man. Okay, now we're moving away. So we're getting pretty close. What's wrong with being glass drunk? You try asking a glass of water. Exactly. Okay, so I've managed to overshoot again because the thrust wouldn't zero out. Oh yeah, I I, I remember Fruity Loops. I used something called Quartet, which was a four-channel sample uh, thing on the Atari ST. Yeah, so anyway, that Star Citizen video, there's so many idiots were like, 
This isn't a hack! You just changed the levels! And it's like, yes! <coughs> That's exactly what a hack is! It's really funny that there's these people that think that being ha hacking something is to do with being elite. And, and it, you know, you def there are definitely elite hacksaws that are, you know, working in computer security. And absolutely, you know, I've worked in computer security, but I'm not nearly as qualified as many of the big names. So, uh, yeah, I, I uh, became a recreational computer security expert for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I used to run, so for the kind of random hacky stuff I did, I, uh, at one point where I was living in San Francisco, I found a uh, PowerPC Motorola Macintosh. That was from like the, the late 90s when Motorola actually produced Macintoshes for a rare, for a brief moment. Why don't I just stage it? I don't know. Because I want to go to higher altitudes. I'm going to let this thing kind of cancel. You know what I should do is roll it because that'll get more light on those solar panels. I think at this point I want to... I think I'm just going to point it at the retrograde vector and then we'll cause everything to fix itself. Do some DJ... The problem with DJing on a live stream is odds are I will... It, it will end up getting blocked, right? That's just the kind of nature of things. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of people have this notion that every single hacker is an evil person out to steal your bank account. And while there are people who are out to steal your bank accounts who are also hackers, they are also criminals. And... Those are completely separate. There are black hats and there are white hats, and I will have a beer with any of them. And I will talk fun stuff. Uh, just the nature of things. Okay, so... We're about 170 meters out. At this point, what I should do is I'm going to enable SAS, which will hopefully pause the rotation. Come on. And I'm going to, we're moving at about 1.5 meters per second. I'm going to, that's, that's about as close to zero as I'm going to get. So I should be able to, uh, no, I tried to change camera to the other spacecraft and that's not working. So, uh, this could be a problem. So, you know, what we're going to do is we're going to quick save and I'm going to quick load because I think this might fix the problem. So what's not happening? Yeah, the, the grey hats. So they're basically people who like to run in the black hat circles, but will also reveal their secrets and whatnot. Also, by the way, if you've if you've um, bought anything from Shapeways, then uh, you should be aware that Shapeways customer database got leaked. Also, incidentally, you may not see given this by Squad. This is a. Uh, this but uh I picked this up or sorry I get Valentina that was uh sent to me as thanks for my service to the game look at the shirt by the way it you may think that's a bunch of orbits around a planet but notice this it is in fact a tone arm from a turntable it's like so oh shit oh shit ha ah. One minute. One minute. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, gonna clean this up. One minute! Oh, good news. <laughs> of course, I'm still mic'd up. That's the funny thing, right? You guys are like, where is he? Why is he swearing? What's going on? Oh man, could be worse. I mean, could be worse. Okay. <laughs> Moments in science. Yes. Ah. Oh. Well, it could be worse. You know, we could have had 
animals peeing on the carpet or something. Ah, rest in alcohol. This is just a version of uh, viscera cleanup detail with less blood and more alcohol. Ah. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. I'm just gonna leave that there temporarily. Well, good news is, we didn't spill it on any of the Magic the Gathering kit or whatever. I think I'm gonna put some more of this down. What were we doing? Right. Well. Oh. <laughs> So uh, this wire is a big problem. You can't see it because it's too far away, but this wire is what, where the uh, headphone goes to, the microphone, whatever. Pretty funny. Okay, so let's try switching. Vessel, oh! Uh-oh. It doesn't want to switch! It says focus, Triana's pod. I'm focusing on Triana's pod. Maybe I, I have to clear the target. Let's try this. Nope. Here's an idea. It says focus turbus. Uh, if I quick save it in this state, let's see if it ruins the thing. Quick load. Uh, quick save. Why does the why did that pop back up? Da, 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 da. Did you know that early rocket fuel used in the V2 rocket was actually uh, alcohol? <sighs> change focus via... The problem is you can't change focus via the map because... Uh, okay. Okay, we targeted that. No. If you change focus via the map, what happens is... You can't change to it because you're not in command of it. So, tour bus. You see, you can't... Okay. So let's go back to the space center and see if I can fix this. Uh, what I'm trying to do is get around a bug in the game. It's rather unfortunate. No, no it was... It, they, would, they would actually use ethyl alcohol, which is ethanol. No, it's 250 meters. No, we're definitely in range for, for switching. It's just, it's moved. So uh, now let's go here. It's a tracking station. And we can go to Triana's pod. Oh, and I just say we can fly it. Let's try flying Triana's pod. Okay, I'm able to fly into Triana's pod. There we go. Triana, we have you. What are your skills? I don't know what you are. I'm gonna uh, EVA. Now, where is our target spaceship? There it is, there. This is gonna be fun. No, X to let go. No. There's the RCS. Oh, we're going to go up. Oh, actually, I can just click on that. Let's put the lights on, because having lights can help with close navigation. So I'm going to go forwards. Okay, we're definitely moving in towards the target. I can tell because the tiny, tiny numbers are going down. Oh, crap. Tiny numbers going down. Number going downer. That's really the challenge. That's Kerbal Space Program for you. Like, getting into orbit is numbers going up simulator. Docking is numbers going down simulator. It's true. It's all about numbers. I mean, you know, we like to try and imagine it's all about these imaginary rocket scientists and things like this. Uh, so, Matt Bro 100, I believe this bug was one that was in the PC version, but it was fixed. And unfortunately, the version of KSP that they launched included these bugs, so I don't know why. Let's play a game, everyone type random stuff. Okay, 
I'm typing random stuff. This is my <laughs> random stuff. <laughs> Going d down is numbers down, also called falling with style. Okay, now I cannot see the target thing, so I'm totally having to guess the relative velocity here. Uh, do imaginary rocket scientists work with imaginary numbers? Of course they do, since they're interested in orbits. Orbits can, of course, be represented by sine functions, which can be represented by exponentials of imaginary numbers. It's amazing, isn't it? So, I wonder where the... I wonder where, which side the thing is, the pod bay doors. <laughs> if dev random off random stuff, count one, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you know what? Uh, funny story I did have once is that somebody tried something very similar to that. Okay, where's well, sorry. Could talk. I'm sure you could talk Chris Hadfield into flying a maple syrup fueled rocket. Perhaps. Okay, here we go. Oh, it looks like we're on the correct side of this, actually. So I just need to... Okay, I'm going to turn the camera around. There, look. Look at that beautiful rocket. thought I turned the lights on, but apparently his her lights just aren't working. Another buck, 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 bug. <sighs> Tap the circle button to grab. Long tap to board. Where did I study? I studied uh, at uh, the University of Glasgow. Okay, and what I'm going to do... <laughs> so now we've, we've rescued her, we can take her home, but we've got some other stuff to do first, right? So let's check our contracts. Contracts. Uh, let's actually look at these. Rescue is now part of the space program. Woo, yeah! Woo, yeah! So I made some money from that. Recent accomplishments. We have performed a rendezvous maneuver. Oh, excellent! And a crew transfer. Excellent! We've got the VIP into orbit. Suborbital space flight, etc., etc. So let's check our contract. We still need to uh, get her. Mecca's home. We're not going to take Mecca all the way to Minmus. We need to put a flag on Minmus, which we already did, but the game broke for some reason. We've got to bring Triana Kerman home. Fly Duna, plant flag on the moon. Okay. The real, the hidden reason behind this. Okay, so before we do anything, gonna quick save. And I've got to collect some science from here. Now, hold on. Oh, 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 oh. You know what? We should actually try EVA. Well, you, first of all, I want to collect science data here. Science data, observe. Have we got it? Uh, no, we've already got that. Boring. Let's reset that. Uh, I'm going to have you EVA for a second. Because I suspect we might be near Badlands, but maybe not. Come on. Ah, no, no, no. EVA report. EVA. Darn, red grasslands. Okay, never mind. Boring. Reset experiment. This board. But one of the science experiments that we do have here... I should just detach the rest of this spacecraft, but I want to... You know what? I'm, I'm going to... You know, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to point this, and I'm going to go into a slightly higher orbit. Right? We're going to go into a slightly higher orbit, and then we'll detach the rest of the spacecraft and get some more info. Right? Alt-F4! Alt-F4, Matt bro! What are you talking about? <sighs> Staging is broken. I know staging is broken. Staging is broken every time I get out of this spacecraft. The good news is it means that no staging actually works anymore. 
Mm. Okay, St yes, thank you, Evan. Thanks for telling me about the broken staging because I would not have realized that this was a problem had you individuals not uh, mentioned to me. I'm trying to turn prograde and it's taking some time here. PS4 has all the bugs that Kerbal Space Program 1.1 had when it launched on the PC. Okay. Alt-F4. <laughs> Alt-F4 in the play... Actually, no. Alt-F4 in the PlayStation is pressing the PlayStation button, which uh, lets you close apps. Okay, so we're facing the right way, and I'm going to use this to boost into a higher orbit. Me on a couch? Yes, I am commanding my entire space program from a couch. Okay, we're going to fire these engines. Wow! That should get us out quite a way. Let's just take a look and see just how far we're going. Ah, excellent! So we're going up into a really nice high orbit. We'll get high orbit science. And we'll go back inside. You love me! Keep up the good work! Oh, okay, I'll try. We're gonna decouple here. Excellent. So now... Now I should be able to turn this thing a whole lot more easily. And then going to turn it so we get just a little, little more sun. Because the real reason I'm ditching this is just because it's taking too long to do all the turns and the rotations and stuff. Let's see, can we get temperature? I think we already have temperature from this region. Yes, we already have temperature from this region. We probably have the temperature thing just for landing. But I don't think I have pressure from this altitude, right? Because I just unlocked pressure. Log pressure data, maybe? Oh, yeah, I guess I haven't recovered pressure data from this altitude, so we're going to do that. We're going to keep that. Uh, and that means that Triana is going to have to jump outside and grab it. EVA and... Oh, you, just you stay still. Take the data. Take it. Take it all. I said, take it. Thank you. Now, board back again. Long tap circle button. Thank you. Please do a No Man's Sky series. I would love to do a No Man's Sky series. I have the game pre-ordered and it will be getting delivered on the 9th, which means by the evening of the 9th, I should be able to play some of it. Okay, so we're going to time accelerate a bit until I'm above 250 kilometers and then once I'm above 250 we will get the data we need and then once we're up that high we don't actually need that much fuel to return but I might as well do it you know I'll burn to slow my descent or something I don't know do I think Kerbal Space Program has a place in schools to teach math mechanics physics programming it's a, I think that you can do all of that stuff, uh, but what I think Kerbal Space Program really does is it provides context for a lot of these things we learn in an academic setting. So, uh, rocket scientists may understand in their head how orbital mechanics work, but until you're actually messing with it and flying the spaceship, it's, uh, yeah, it can be, you know, it can catch you by surprise. Anyway... 250. Okay, now we're going to slow down. We're going to get data. So we should have temperature data, right? Uh, log temperature. I, that We've only got that for landing, so we don't need that. But one thing we haven't collected yet is materials bay science data. Observe materials bay. Yes, excellent. Keep that experiment. So I'm going to load that inside. You know, actually, I could try landing this whole thing. Might be a fun idea. Uh, log pressure data. So my instrument reads zero as if it were in space. So she has to EVA outside and grab this. Take the data. Oh, like, I like how we're actually still in physics acceleration. So I should probably slow down physics acceleration and then let go. 
and I'm going to try turning lights on. Yeah, the headlamps don't work on this for some reason. I don't know what the shortcut is for making headlamps work. Okay. No. Here. Come on. Collect data. Col collect data. Collect data. Yes, remove data. Thank you. Oh, how difficult that is sometimes. Did you get fired? How do you have so much free time to... What do you mean? I, I just... Uh, oh, I just, it's a Saturday. I mean, well, I'm not working on a Saturday. I have a proper, you know, weekday job kind of thing. Okay, so we've got that. And I should have probably collected science data, but never mind. So what I need to do now is we'll get ready for landing. So, oh, 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 let me think about this. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna warp around to like here. Warp here. Now, you know what's actually gonna be a problem? is that I have multiple parachutes to deploy and the staging just doesn't seem to want to work, does it? The light action group is you, thank you. Yes, the light action group is you. Yeah, what a great piece of information that is. Your service to PlayStation Kerbal Space Program will be eternally uh, celebrated for, well, eternity actually. I don't know if I'd be an excellent teacher because I probably am not qualified. But anyway, what I'm going to do... Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... First of all, I'm going to activate this engine. And then I'm going to have to... I think I'm going to save this because I want to see if I can land the whole thing, right? So quick save... Uh, Yeah, I'm going to quick save here. And then I'm actually going to put the parachutes before the decoupler, right? Because I think I might be able to land this thing. First thing, let's go and activate this. Activate engine. Okay. And so now what I'm going to do is go into the map and fire this engine until my periaps drops. So I need to highlight this. Again, really, really tiny text, which, you know, I can understand why, because that's the size that it is on the PC. The controls on the console are, um, well, they're controls on the console. They're crowded, right? There's a lot of secret controls, but then again, there's a lot of secret controls on the PC version, right? The, a lot of people don't know about part copying and sub, you know, the symmetry changing and things like that. At least the console has that little question mark to tell you what the controls are, but some of the control mappings are just badly chosen, if you ask me. Okay, so I am going to do that. So we're going to slow down at this altitude and see how aerodynamically stable this whole thing is. Is it not better to lower your orbit by burning? Yes, it is. But what I'm actually also doing is I want to see if I can slow down enough to soft land the entire thing. That's what I'm interested. So I'm not doing it efficiently because I have huge amounts of delta V left. That's really what it is. You find it unfortunate that Serious Business has stopped, but nobody watched Serious Business. It didn't get nearly the number of views that some of my other series got. Okay, we're going to time accelerate once again. Uh. 
So what I want to do is see if this thing will remain stable because it has these little fins up the top and that's the idea is that that's going to keep it more stable. The problem is that we need to slow down quite significantly. Let's see what happens. We're just going to let it run. Oh, time pausing for but a second. Yeah, the you know serious business had its moments, but it was also stuck on an old version of Kerbal Space Program, and that's what happened with Interstellar Quest. It got stuck on a very old version of Kerbal Space Program for a very long time, because the modules literally get stuck. In particular, I was stuck with uh, Interstellar Quest. I get stuck because the version of uh, Infernal Robotics became no longer backwards incompatible, backwards compatible. So I couldn't upgrade things. <laughs> okay, so we're about to hit things. Let's see what happens. You know what? I'm going to slow things down. Oh, and I am actually going to hit this button here so I can see my electric charge. So we're just going to try and hold this attitude and see what happens. I'm going to actually hold retrograde. And if it gets too hot, then I can start to fire the engines. I just want to see if I can shed some speed here. I'm actually going way too fast. Really, I should just try shedding the speed here and then see what happens. <laughs> I mean, as long as the thing doesn't flip the wrong way, we're going to be fine. If it flips the wrong way, I have plans for that as well. Interesting to note that we're actually still gaining speed here. When you will you do a Duna mission? My career mode save needs the help. I, I did a Duna mission in Interstellar Quest, and I did... As soon as Duna appeared, I tried to do a Duna mission just like off the top of my head, just making it up as I went along. And it mostly worked, except the landing just took too many attempts. Like, literally, it took me an hour and a half of failing, trying and failing to land. Uh, I would definitely rather work for the American program, mostly just because of the the crazy shenanigans that American, uh, that Russians got up to in terms of people getting sent to the gulag and whatnot. Okay, this is getting hot and it's not slowing down particularly quickly. Yeah, so this is... I'm going to just start firing this engine. So... Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to soft land this thing. I guess actually what I can do is make it skip. I'm going to save it just enough. I do... I have a heat shield on... in the middle. Right? But I'm wondering whether I could soft land everything here. So what I want to do is burn off just enough fuel that I'm on a, uh, a trajectory which will bring me... Oh! Ah, oh, dear, 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 Crap. Okay. So there, I'm going to go on a an ascent and then a descent. This may not work because I'm going to fall down too quickly now, I think. Well, we're going to see how long this can hold together. Come on, baby. Hold together. We're not going pro-grade. We're, try we're trying to go home retrograde. That's why we have the, the little fins at the top. So in the original Mer Mercury capsule, because it was a conical shape, it was essentially stable in two directions. And it could either be going face first or heat shield first and to stop it going heat uh, face first they had a little uh, fin at the top that would kind of scoop and flip the thing over and this is the kind of idea i've got here i've basically got some fins on the top of the rocket the idea being that these will slow everything down how is that engine not overheating just because i think i may have over overdone this but we'll see uh -huh. Okay, I've got someone on the watch saying, have you seen this one? No, I haven't seen this one. I don't know what you're talking about. This is what happens. Twitter coming in here. Have I ever used VLC player to record anything? 
I've never used VLC to record. I've used VLC occasionally for many, many things. Uh, VLC actually has little bits of my code in it because of the libraries it uses. So, you know, I guess that... No, I'm not bouncing off the atmosphere because I went and messed up. I My engine fired for too long. Uh, <laughs> yeah, look, my velocity is increasing again. There's basically no drag at this altitude. Am I going to start a new series? Uh, maybe. I might uh, start a new series. I've got some individual things I want to do. I want to do a video about the Asteroid Intercept mission by ESA, which is going to an asteroid called Didymus, which has a moon, a little moon, so they call it Didymoon, which is kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> it's going to actually be a very complicated spacecraft that not only has a major spacecraft, it's going to have a couple of small CubeSats that are going to kind of do their own thing. So it's really interesting from an asteroid point of view. Yep, speed is not slowing down. I think uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throttle up to 100%. I think I'm going to do that, right? Just fire that engine. And hopefully I'll have enough fuel left for getting through the atmosphere and landing. If not, I can just go back and load the saved version and, and everything. But right now, I want to I wanna keep an engine firing because it adds some stability control to the whole thing. That's the other reason I kind of want to do this. Okay, so that'll give me about two minutes of burn here. Just keep it going. Even if most of the deceleration force ends up coming from aerodynamics, I will be fine. Did I dock on the mission? No, I don't have docking, but I have... Uh, I rendezvoused. I did a super fast rendezvous. I rendezvoused, like, within minutes and then messed it up because the, uh, of the controls. Thirty-three. Oh, things getting hot here. It's getting hot in here. It is getting hot in here, I tell you, because it's summer. Holy moly, it is darn hot. Okay, I'm trying to keep the velocity vector correct here. It's getting hot. G forces building up here. We're now feeling the force, feeling the heat. Pushing me to the top. Okay, now down to 50. Now down to Mach 5. If we can just get through this. Now we're feeling 1G of forces. So the force of the atmosphere is now providing more than the force uh, from, you know, the rocket bits and pieces. I have no idea where I'm landing either. Uh, it's not sure, like, the thermal thing comes and goes. Sometimes it goes away for a second. I think it's attitude. See, it disappears. I think it's because uh, rocket attitude sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. Okay, so, uh, let me just see. We've got 100 seconds worth of fuel there. We're down to Mach 3. The real question is, can I slow down? Yes! So I think we've made it through the atmosphere. So soon, soon I will be able to deploy the parachutes. If not, I will collide into the ground far too fast and die. And that will be served me right for trying to push the limits of this rocket. Come on. I'm waiting for those to go yellow. Wait for the bus to go, or not yellow. Gray, 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 gray. Excellent. Shoots deployed. Okay, there we go. Now we just need to throttle to up just to slow the landing. Because we want to recover as much as possible, right? So we're moving down to 8 meters per second. So look, this, the whole idea is I've saved myself some money by recovering as much of this spaceship as possible, right? That's the idea. I wonder what, what place we're at. Can I do uh, science from here? Crew report. 
We are over the grassland. Boring! How about pressure? Have, have we got pressure from over the grasslands? Uh, log pressure data. While flying at Kerbin. Nope, doesn't matter. I, I have no idea where the ground is here. I'm probably going to hit the ground and break it. I think I'm going to fire up my engines. Eight, nine, oh. 6.3, 6.2. Look, we're. I think the ground must be there somewhere. Uh oh. You know, oh crap. I did it too early. Oh, hey, excellent, survived, survived. T excellent. Ha, recovered the whole thing. All that effort, what do I use to screen capture the PlayStation 4? I just use the stock built-in software on the PlayStation 4. The PlayStation 4 has all of this built-in and therefore we are cool. Okay, let's uh, log pressure data, maybe we've got that. Excellent! Pressure scan from the grasslands. That will be a new frontier in grasslandology. Uh, crew report, we've already got that, right? Yeah, okay, never mind. Reset experiment. Recover vessel. The, you know what? The thing is, the PlayStation 4 is designed to be used from across a room. I think actually we're getting close to one hour here, and I do have many, many other things to do tonight. I'm quite surprised that I managed to get pull that thing off, to be honest. I wasn't 100% sure. Okay, next. And Marcus Kerman is quite happy. Also, Marcus Kerman has now advanced to level 1. Maybe they'll want to become a full-term Kerbinaut. And we got a new scientist on our team who has experience of going to space. Uh huh. So let's check mission control for possible contract. Active contracts is basically Moon Minmus, Fly to Duna, okay. Fly by Duna, specific orbit, build orbital station, test boring, conduct temperature surveys of specific places, Colnia orbit, no thank you, too much effort. Nice, but too much effort. Okay. Marcus Kerman, yeah, Marcus Kerman has all the secrets. So we do have enough science to unlock one of these nodes, but should I instead wait is the question. Precision engineering. No, that's right. Boring. Uh, and that's going to need 160. This one does get me the science lab, and this one does get me more modules. This one gets me something I don't really need. Landing gear, which could be useful. And then this one... Precision propulsion. Oh, that gives me the tiny thrusters. And this one gets me the less interesting thrusters. I should probably get that at some point, truthfully. I don't know why I haven't unlocked that yet. Advanced construction gets me aerodynamic fairings, which actually is probably something... You know what? I should unlock these things just now, because I, I'm going to need them. Let's just do that. Uh, unlock the tiny propulsion and unlock the big propulsion. Unlock the advanced construction. There we go. So that's going to be useful. We have made some progress here. And now let's see what we can unlock in terms of uh, facilities. I think... So... Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So we have been limited by part count. What I can do now is upgrade the vehicle assembly building. Yes. So we can now support 256 parts. Which is close to the 300 parts that the game will max out on anyway so we're set there uh, this one will give me patched conics which I, you know that this is going to cost me too much this is gonna get me more active kerbals unlimited we don't need any of that this one could get me more administration thing but frankly i'm not even touching that because i'm not gaming this I could unlock that facility, but I'm not really that interested in building planes because I'm just after the achievements. 
maybe there's an achievement for flying a plane. Might be worth doing. Okay, uh, let's actually just check the other thing we've got in space because we have a spacecraft which is on its way to Eve. The Teen Spirit. We should just nuke Triana's pod because it's kind of useless. Terminate. Yes, I'm going to kill all crew on this. Thank you. Because I just don't want you cluttering up my thing. So let's see where this is. Oh, it's it's a ways away as yet. It's going to fly past Eve soon enough. And we'll maybe go into orbit and collect some science. And then perhaps we can go elsewhere. So yeah, I think we have made some progress here. <sighs> We certainly get the cash to do more things, but I have to get ready for some other stuff, so... Farewell!